So, here's the metro station Vedenka. If you want to know what Vedenka means, it's Vistovka Dastizheni Narodnova Hazyaistva, which means exhibition of the achievements of the national economy. Okay? So, uh, it's basically like an open trade fair. Keep calm and Gangnam style, they say, on those t-shirts. So, uh, yeah, I think it's not that way, but this way. This person's been led off in one direction. Some casual trade going on all around the place. Looks like they're selling cats as well. Selling cats. I've already got a cat. Very pleased to have a cat, but it wouldn't be a very good idea. Oh, there's Brezhnev. That's my mate. Um, and uh, there's the Memorial Museum of Cosmonautics. That means we're now here. What I'm trying to get to is over here somewhere where the Tirimok is. So uh, that's basically the idea of what I'm doing. Ah, port needs to wrap her up in a rug now and run away with her. So we're right next now to the. Uh, now we've got this on that side of the of the TV centre. So I'm sure it was possible in theory to have them meet at one point. Mathematically, when you think about it, it has to have been possible. You can get a good look at the top of this now. That uh, Memorial Museum of Cosmonautics thing is part of the shape of the building which houses the museum. Exactly what the function is of the bit inside, I don't know. Maybe you go up it and pretend to be taken off in a rocket. I don't know. So, this looks like she's selling dogs, but in fact she isn't selling dogs, she's just begging for food for them. I think the people that had the cats were actually selling the cats. It's also poss quite possible that they... Um, that they... Uh, had a cat that simply had kittens and want to find a good home for them, but uh, the best way of finding a good home for a cat is actually just to sell it for good money. But because uh, then you know that the person that uh, that buys the cat puts a value on it. Although sometimes people have just got more money than sense and buy a cat for money, but then don't respect it anyway. And then the fact that they just bought it means, oh, I bought it, I own it, I can do what I like with it. Um, reputable catteries have a contract with you when you buy a cat that you can't just do what you like with it and they've effectively still got the right to uh, reclaim the cat um, if you don't do certain things, one of which is get it sterilised if it's a cat that wasn't put down as a breeding cat you pay a different price if it's a pedigree cat for a breeding cat than a non-breeding cat um, and if you do the deal with the money buying a kitten which is pedigree that you're not going to breed off it then um, that kitten gets registered with the ticker as a non-breeding kitten and it's supposed to be sterilised. If you don't sterilise it, obviously in most cases they're not going to know, but you certainly can't register any further offspring of that cat with ticker because it's gone to ticker by the reputable category registered as a non-breeding cat. So therefore that's the end of the line as far as it's concerned. Um, in most cases, if you've got a tomcat, then in in uh, in normal um, household circumstances, I'm not talking about a farm, for example, where it's going to spend a lot of its life outside. But normal, like in a flat or something, you would definitely want to sterilise your tom because obviously uh, it's going to make an, an awful stink if you don't. But the the neighbours won't be happy, even if you've got no sense of smell and don't mind it. Of course, if any of my viewers are uh, actually devoid of a sense of smell and don't like their neighbours, well then that would be one way of sorting them out. There's an interesting thing, that's a 
that's um, for somebody who's got a limitless use of the metro system. I don't think there are such people around. It's an interesting kanji there on the person's arm there. Chinese style ones written because I can see a de there, upside down. That could be the quickest way home there. It could actually be to... Um, I could use one of these trolley, these things here. That would be quite an effective way to get back home. Let's say I wanted to get back from here home quicker and uh, keep my pancakes warm. I could use one of these, that number 11 trolley bus. In fact, anything that's going along this tram line um, will be stopping just outside because there's nowhere else for it to go. So it will definitely be stopping just outside my uh, flat. So there you are. This is a nice kind of place, park, the beginning of a whole load of Moscow Park, a whole expanse of place where people go to relax and muck about and just relax a bit after work and on weekends or instead of work if they have a day off or if they don't have a job at all which doesn't seem to be much of a problem in Russia because unemployment is something like 5% and certainly in Moscow less than 5% so um, not the same problem as, uh, as we tend to have in uh, Poland and other places like the Czech Republic or in the UK for that matter to what extent those jobs are all meaningful is another matter if you have full employment, then of course people don't particularly set a, a value on their job. And sometimes you can get people that work in a hobbyist manner, let's say, just to not be rude about it. Yeah, quite a few times I've whizzed around this corner in a car. Oh, you can get a, a nice Guy Fawkes mask for for YouTube films. We are Legion, if you want one. Or for protesting and shit. That's quite good. It's quite good. There's some more ones. A, a person doing a very elaborate V sign there involving her first and last finger instead of the first two as is traditional. Um, these are caricatures of people that may be well known, I'm not sure. That may be that, what's his face, that guy that always does the... Uh, that might be an attempt at Catherine Zeta-Jones, but I hope not. Um, Hieromantia, that's uh, palm reading. These people are having a bit of a powwow, these Chileans here chilling out in the sun. Some other kind of Andean music is going out here, no doubt a tribute to Mr. Bolivia, what's his name, who got himself uh, stopped the other day. Don't get me started on the subject of Lord Snowden. Um, But uh, they thought that Lord Snowden might actually be oh shit, somebody aiming right at me. So they thought that Lord Snowden may be in the uh, in the plane of of uh, Monsignor what's his face, the, the president of Bolivia. So they basically forced his plane down in Vienna, and that's like kind of adding insult to injury because I don't think they even let him go down into the old terminal. I think they brought him down to the new terminal, which is crap. Anyway, he was muttering about, oh, here we go, Bolivians.
when uh, Moscow had 850 years, they built that London Eye thing over there. That's why it's got 100, 850 written on it. Moskva, 850 years. Okay. I'll, I'll turn it off for now because it's getting close to the end of the battery, which is ridiculous. I've hardly had it on, but never mind. Just to save it a bit.